Death in Paradise fans were left on the edge of their seats on Friday night after the St. Marie police force were faced with a rather unusual case. The episode began with Neville Parker, played by Ralph Little, receiving a mysterious letter which read, A murder will be committed today. Shortly after, water taxi driver Jake Dalton's, Ben Tavasoli, body was found, leaving his wife cleaner Rose Dalton, Carathea Bald, devastated. As part of the investigation, the officers paid her employer David Cartwright, Patrick Kennedy, a visit, although, Neville had his suspicions straight away. Towards the end of the episode, Neville knew David committed the murder, but he didn't have enough evidence to prove it. The former criminologist seemed to have an alibi as he was filming a live Q&A at the time of Jake's death. Neville was left frustrated by his suspect, and after receiving a signed book from David, he went back to his hotel room to confront him. As he left, he told his love Chelsea Chambers, Chelsea Edge, that David wasn't going to get away with this. However, in an unexpected turn, David's body was found shortly after and Neville was the last person to see him alive. Commissioner Selwyn Patterson, Don Warrington, was first on the scene as he arrested Neville for murder. The detective's colleagues and Sophie looked on in horror, but, did Neville commit the crime or is he being framed? As they gathered in the police station, the commissioner began, Neville Parker, I am arresting you on suspicion of the murder of David Cartwright. You do not have to say anything but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when being questioned something which you later rely on in court, anything you do say may be given in evidence no, wait it can't be right, Sophie interjected. I don't understand, he can't have. Marlon Price, Taj Miles, proceeded to lead Neville to the police cells. Dot however, fans don't believe Sophie is who she says she is, and many took to social media to share their theories. Some predict she could be working as an undercover police officer, while others claim she is the one who framed Neville for murder. User at Surviving20s theorized, hear me out on this. Sophie is actually undercover trying to find a corrupt cop. Andy and Neville work together in the UK but Andy is really the corrupt cop and the only way to save himself is throw Neville under a bus and Sophie is the one protecting Neve. Sick, Janet Smith shared, his old work colleague is on the island. He is either Sophie's ex and wants revenge or has working undercover as Sophie is a big time crook. My friends think I am far too invested. Hashtag death in paradise. Sick, nah he added, did they ever say what Sophie does as a career, because what if she was his colleague back in the UK hashtag death in paradise. Sophie is behaving like too much of a wet blanket. She's in on this with Neve's old colleague, user at Justine Barnes predicted. While Edwin Peterson went on to say, I'm really hoping that Neville did it, we need a new DI to freshen things up a bit, but, sadly, I reckon Sophie's up to her neck in it. The whole series revolves around her inexplicable liking for DI Neve. Sick, hashtag death in paradise I think people like Robert Webb and Neville's old colleague and Sophie are all working together to frame Neville for murder to get revenge on the cases he solved in the past and what that did to them, Angie theorized. Death in Paradise returns on Friday at 9pm on BBC One.